Rita Marley Lifestyle and Net Worth All over the world, the Marley name has become synonymous with reggae music, Rastafari, and Jamaica. It is no coincidence that the talented young Rita Anderson, born in Cuba and raised from an early age in Trenchtown, was destined to become an integral part of the musical Marley family. Rita has been a principal figure on the music scene for over 30 years when the foundation of contemporary Jamaican music was formed and has maintained a prominent role. As of 2024, Rita Marley's net worth is estimated to be around $50 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. This substantial wealth is a testament to both her own successful career and her association with Bob Marley, whose legacy continues to generate significant income through music sales, merchandise, and licensing deals. Music Career It was in the early 60s that her musical career began as a vocalist with the all-female singing group, the Celettes, who have appeared with the Four Tops, Johnny Nash, and numerous other stars. She would soon make the acquaintance of a local trench-down youth, Robert Nesta Marley, who was also answering a musical sea alling. Music became their bond. Enduring the hardships of the initial years of the Jamaican music industry together, Bob and Rita never turned back. By the early 70s, they developed the I-3s, Jamaica's three leading female singers, Rita Marley, Judy Mowat, Marsha Griffiths, to provide support harmonies for Bob Marley and the Wailers, who had become the first reggae act to garnish an international record contract. Their horizons quickly expanded to the world stage, and the songs of love, hope, unity, and struggle became the mothership that transported reggae music, the message of Rastafari, and the culture of the people of Jamaica to the four corners of the earth. Rita was ever-present throughout the stages of Bob's career, the victories as well as the trials. She was beside Bob three days before the Smile Jamaica concert 1976, when they were both wounded in an ambush at the rehearsal studio. 56 Hope Road, now the Bob Marley Museum. Bob was shot in the arm and Rita was grazed by a bullet to the head. Risking their lives, both courageously appeared in concert, in spite of their injuries. She was on stage with Bob at the One Love concert when, during one of his most dynamic and sensational performances, Bob symbolically joined the hands of Michael Manley and Edward Sega, leaders of Jamaica's opposing political parties, illuminating Rastafari as the true peacemakers of the island. Rita was there at Bob's most triumphant moment, when he sang for the people of Zimbabwe at their first independence celebration in 1980. The powerful energy created by this musical force came to an abrupt and untimely standstill when Bob Marley died of cancer in 1981. The world trembled and wept. Rita wept, but soon dried her tears, perhaps remembering the now prophetic lyrics of No Woman, Na Cry, and realizing that her responsibility as mother, wife, and heir to the Marley legacy was to raise the banner, to carry on the work that Bob had begun. Rita has worn many hats to manifest her continued commitment to Bob, her family, and her people, as well as to fulfill her mission to enlighten, educate, and entertain through her music. Her children, the Grammy Award-winning Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers. Tough Gong International, the answer to America's Motown, Rita Marley Music, the I-3s, the Bob Marley Museum and its associated business enterprises, and the annual Bob Marley Day celebrations are just a few of the countless duties that have sustained her status as a spirited force and an ambassador of reggae music. As Rita puts it, reggae is the heartbeat of a person. It's the people's music. Everywhere you go, you get the same response from black to white alike. In 1982, the Bob Marley Performing Center, Montego Bay, Jamaica, played host to the World Music Festival, where Rita Marley secured her title as the queen of reggae among other top-notch entertainers like Gladys Knight and the Pips, Aretha Franklin, Rick James, Stacey Latika, along with Jamaican legends such as Peter Tosh, Toots and the Maytals, Jimmy Cliff, Black Uhuru, as well as leading disciples of crossover music including The Grateful Dead, The Beach Boys, The Clash, Joe Jackson, The English Beat, and Squeeze. I love that other groups use reggae, exclaims Rita. I truly believe that music belongs to the universe. The festival made musical history in Jamaica and confirmed the island's prominence in the world of music. Rita Marley's career has seen the production of three successful solo albums, Who Feels It, Knows It, 
Harambe, and most recently her 1992 Grammy nomination album, We Must Carry On, as well as the classic reggae album, beginning with the i3s. Her sizzling hit, One Draw, created shockwaves around the world and was a massive bestseller that made music history as the first reggae single to top the Billboard disco charts. Her single, Lion and the Lamb, shows the promise to achieve the same heights. Rita has extensively toured Jamaica, the Caribbean, Africa, Japan, Canada, the Americas, Australia, the UK, and Europe. Despite the overwhelming responses from audiences all over the world, Rita Marley exclaims, I'm not a star. I'm a mother, a sister, and a woman. I think of myself as an example. I was a young girl who grew up in the ghetto. This can show other young people to work hard and, if they achieve success, how to deal with it. The glitter and the glamour can distract you from your roots. Philanthropic Endeavors She is the benefactor of many humanitarian causes and an outspoken protagonist in the fight against drug abuse, especially in regards to children and pushers. Rita stresses the importance of the preservation of one's culture and believes that the plant, cannabis sativa, marijuana, with its vast medicinal properties, should be used wisely. Rita Marley upholds the artistic and cultural standard of reggae that was set by her husband, the late Honorable Robert Nesta Marley, 1994 Rock in Roll Hall of Fame inductee, and continues to take it to new heights. Her music reflects the versatility and diversity of reggae through smooth blends of gospel, rhythm and blues, jazz and soca. About the message in her music, the queen of reggae declared the message of joy, loving together, no fighting, no war. 1998 marked a new era in the unending saga of this phenomenal woman as she moved to include the Rita Marley Foundation as a sister organization of the Bobby and Marley Foundation. She is the founder of both foundations which are today housed in the family of Marley Foundations. Gaddy, grandmother, as she was called during childhood, wife of Bob Marley and grandmother of many children, sees the foundation as a way for expressing her faith in the future. Moving her residence to Ghana was a natural mystic as Sister Rita was installed as Nana Afwa Abodia I, within the Aquapim region of Ghana, accompanied by Sister Dima Matthews and Mr. Everton Bonner. She began the task of working with the elders and chiefs towards the provision of a road, a water supply and electrification. An ongoing task since then is the development of the school and the community center. She has also built a state-of-the-art studio in Ghana as a source of inspiration for musicians on the continent. The studio is located in Abori. Nana Adobia continues to be an ambassador for Bob, from the Hollywood Walk of Fame to the nomination as a founding member of the UK Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and an ambassador of reggae music, performing in Europe, South Africa, and Brazil. In 2004, she was awarded the Personality of the Year in Ghana in recognition of her work through the Rita Marley Foundation. She continues her mission of sharing, caring, and working together with all Africans, supporting activities in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Jamaica. Kindly like and subscribe for more reggae and dancehall content.